Julia Samuels missing this morning, uh, and it uh, looks like Deputy Chief Paul Wright of the Memphis Police Department is about to begin here. Uh, he is uh, going to give us some comments. want to show you a real quick picture here of four-year-old Sequoia Samuels. Samuels, three feet tall, 30 pounds, feeding tube on the left side of her stomach, last seen wearing a light blue shirt, black pants, colored hearts there. Uh, she, according to police, uh, the person called 911 when she woke up and found the front door was open. Sequoia was not inside and uh, and they haven't seen her since. So again, that's a picture of her. Memphis police have been working this case uh, for uh, a, a few hours now and they are going to give us an update. As you can see, police uh, gathering there on scene here. Let's go back to that uh, area live there. You can see uh, police officers and other personnel gathering. They are expected to make a statement at any moment here um, about uh, four-year-old, uh, the four-year-old girl that's been missing, Sequoia Samuels. And as we wait, I want to show and continue to show, look like he was about to begin, uh, but as we wait, I want to show you another picture here uh, that was released. Uh, this is uh, the last time she was seen where this house was, 200 block of Caldwell in the city of Memphis. And uh, this was about 7.55 this morning, about 8 o'clock this morning. That's when a person called 911 woke up, found the front door was open, and this little girl was missing. And so, um, again, that is her picture. She's four years old. She has a feeding tube on the left side of her stomach. She's a little girl, just three feet tall, weighs about 30 pounds. And, um, and then you can see the description there. Last seen wearing a light blue shirt, black pants, colored hearts. And we have... Um, Memphis police investigators there on the scene and uh, ready to uh, begin a news conference about this missing endangered child here. Again, 200 block of Caldwell. Uh, we are waiting for uh, officers to begin, and it looks like they are stalling uh, just for a minute here. Uh, we're going to run a quick 30 second ad. We'll be right back. Here, uh, this is the 200 block of Caldwell. Just to give you an idea of where this is, we've pulled up a map here, Google Maps, to kind of show you exactly where this is. Uh, and you can see uh, the 200, the Caldwell area is right there uh, where you can see um, we just had the... Uh, our cursor right there, the 200 block of Caldwell. You can see uh, the second street is here, and um, that's essentially the biggest uh, thoroughfare that's close by to this area. Uh, Res Restoration Outreach Ministry is just around the corner here, uh, you can see. Uh, but again, the, the 200 block is, uh, is um, highly populated. Back out live, uh, our, our crew there is focusing in on some crime scene tape that you can see as investigators continue um, to uh, gather more evidence there on scene. And again, um, you can see Memphis police cruisers uh, there along with officers um, that have surrounded the scene here. Again, we are waiting for a news conference that was set to begin about 12 minutes ago. And uh, you can see more tape uh, being um, looks like wrapped around uh, a good portion of that block there.